everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super nervous but nervous excited because I'm going to be revealing to you the finished product of Laurel. It's super scary because showing you guys something that I spent months on is a little bit daunting but I hope you all really like it. So we're starting off at my airport. Here is my flag. I made this one evening when I couldn't sleep. It took me a good couple of hours to make it look right, but I'm happy with it and I think it's cute and matches my island aesthetic. So I'm going to show you my map first of all. So here we go. You probably know which villages I have because I've done so many speed builds for their yards which has been like my favourite thing to do on this island but this is Laurel in its full glory as you can see there's quite a lot of water, quite a few hills and my houses are spread about quite well. So there's me, uh, my house is flashing at the back there and then we have Fauna, Poppy, Eric, Olive, Punchy, Maple. Dobby, Pearl, Molly and Deirdre. So that's my islanders. I was really happy with them. Some of them I did have on my old island but they were so good that I couldn't not have them again. So this is my island entrance. It feels quite simple now but I still really like it. Oops, someone forgot to pick up that tree branch. I'll get rid of that really quickly. Um, yeah, so for my island entrance, we have a bench and barrels, which you'll see a lot throughout the island. Uh, we have the wedding welcome board and the rover suitcase, and then a little bit of a cliff action with some trees. There is a little mini waterfall, and then over to the right here, we have a diagonal bridge over this waterway. And then we have some more cliffs up there, which you'll see better when we go around to Deirdre's house. And then we have our phone box, just in case you've lost your mobile phone and you need to make a phone call. I don't know. They're pretty redundant nowadays, but there, there, it's there. And then, first of all, we come to Able Sisters over on the right here. I love my Able Sisters. This is probably my favourite Able Sisters that I've done. I love the fact that over on the left, we've kind of got a clothing set up with lots of items, gift pile from Christmas. And then over on the right, we have the sewing area with the loom, the sewing machine and some garments all there ready to go. So yeah, I was really happy with how this turned out. Very kind of rustic looking. That's probably gonna be my favorite word <laughs> throughout the video, but I really, really like this. And it was definitely kind of the aesthetic that I was going for. I hope you guys like it too and then if we keep going over to the right the path kind of spirals around and then we come to my peninsula it's not a big peninsula so I wasn't really sure what to do with it so we just kind of went with a little seating area a little barbecue with some green items I've used the turkey day items here the casserole and the table setting and then if we fork off down here, and then we come to Deirdre's house. This was one of the first yard speed builds that I did, and it's pretty much been untouched since. I was quite happy with it, and I didn't want to mess with it too much. Deirdre has her own little spa on the beach here, which I still really like. I really want to get in that hot tub. <laughs> It would be super, super relaxing. And then there's those waterfalls that I spoke about in the entrance. And she has her own little seating area. And a mushroom parasol for no apparent reason, but it looks good. There is a little laundry set up there on the cliff as well, but you can't really see it, to be honest. Oh no, maples. Get rid of that cloud above your head. You're not going anywhere. And then just over to the right on this beach, there's a little fountain and we've got a sandcastle set up here with the shovel and the bucket. If you're from the UK, I don't know what it's like elsewhere in the world, but sandcastles building with the bucket and spade was always something that we used to do as a kid. So I really wanted to include that in this build. 
There's quite a few wide brim straw hats around as well. Another favorite item on my island. <laughs> I'll come back to that in a minute. I just want to show you guys the apiary, my little bee farm with lots of yellow flowers, some wasp models and some pots to make it look like honey. Got a little stool there. I really, it took me a long time to decide to, what to do with this little area because of the way my cliffs were. So that was kind of what I went with. And then down here, this area was my laundry speed build. First off, we've got a little picnic area, which I stuck with very neutral tones, that crochet rug. I still really love this and I think it looks really relaxing. For most of my beaches, I've used my custom design that I normally use on my land, as well as the Cosmos stunted flowers and the rose stunted flowers because I think they look the nicest on the beaches they look like I don't know not seaweed but I just like the way that they look as they're growing and then we come to Laurel's very big laundry area maybe it is just a tad big but I like it and um, we have the laundry set up down here we've utilized the umbrellas with the folded laundry which I absolutely love it. they are super cute and then back here we have the washing area with the washing line some oh one old wash tub there which keeps getting covered by the map and we have the water pump as well and then on this beach I wasn't sure what to do so we put another little laundry setup just because you can never have too much laundry. <laughs> well, you can. If you're like me, you just leave it till, the, till it really needs doing and then you have loads to do. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much this side. Where I'm gonna take you next is up to my campsite. Before we get to my campsite, we have a little transition area, which is just behind the back of my Able Sisters, which coincidentally is another laundry area. <laughs> and then there's a little seating bench up here, so you can just have a, have a rest if you're going hiking. And then we've got another diagonal bridge over here, and this leads to the campsite. Just to the right of the campsite, we've got a little mini picnic area with the white mountain bike and some books. And then this is the campsite, the main area. We've got a little campfire area with a ukulele. I really like the idea of sitting around, playing some music, I guess eating s'mores, although I've never had one, but I feel like that fits. So those kind of vibes. And then I carried on the campsite and I used the kids tents over here. I wanted it to be quite large so this is what we went for. Uh, I used the futon which I customised as well and I was really happy with that. And then we're up behind my residence services now and this is just kind of a little transition area, just a little seating area. Keep an eye on the residents who are causing mischief on the plaza, as they always do. And then back here, this was my first attempt at a sunken waterfall, and I think I may be doing some more. I really like how effective they are. You can see up there I've got two waterfalls coming down at the back. And we've got some side ones here and one at the back. There's one over there as well. For this area, I just decided, oh my gosh, where's the writing bureau gone? Okay, just imagine there's a writing bureau here. I don't know what I did with that. Why did I remove it? Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, there should be a writing bureau there. This was my little writing spot minus the bureau. Um, how did I miss that? I do not know. Um, but I thought it would be nice to have a little area overlooking the waterfall where you can write down your thoughts and just kind of relax. 
you can kind of snake your way around here but it's quite hard to do because I have just jam packed it full of stuff there is kind of like a little natural mushroom farm back here with the log and the parasol give you a closer look at the waterfall as well just lots of natural things lots of wood stakes flowers some rocks as well some butterflies everyone loves butterflies I don't know if I'm drawing this island in the right way um, but if you come along this little path here to the right of the sunken waterfall then we come down to my lavender farm which was a recent build that I did and you can catch that in my speed builds as well I really love it I wish I could smell this in real life because I think it would just smell amazing we have kind of a storage area over to the right and then there's like a lavender stool shop area over here and another diagonal bridge um now I keep saying it I realize how many I have on my island <laughs> whoops uh, we just cross over here and then we come into Punchy's yard Punchy's yard is kind of like a chill backyard area he's got like a barbecue setup, a picnic blanket, a hammock. I just love how his house looks and I very much wanted to keep it like a, a beachy feel. So that's why I went with that kind of design. And then he's got his own little laundry area and then it kind of filters through to where I built my camper van on the rocks which again I feel like it ties nicely in with Punchy's area because it's all kind of blue and white to kind of give that coastal feel out front of the camper van we have a little mini tent area camping area with the futon and the kids tent and then as we go down the beach it's kind of more relaxing got some beach towels or the one towel <laughs> And then we come to a campfire on the beach. Again, I like using the ukulele here with some music, some books. And we've got the surfboard as well. Just to add something in the background. And just use some items here as well. The bucket, the life ring, stuff you'd find on a beach, which I thought was fitting. Mr. Turtles chilling out up here. And so we'll head back over to the left of the island. There's Punchy. Hello, Mr. Punchy. Hope you're doing well. So there is a little mini seating area here just to act as transition area, somewhere we could just pop in for a cup of tea. That's probably one of the most British things I'll ever say on my videos. Um, but there you go. And then we come to my apple orchard, which again was another recent build that I did and I still really like it. It's very kind of rustic, a bit of an unorganized mess, <laughs> but I really like that look. And it's got a stool and a seating area, lots of apples dotted around. And then to the back of my apple orchard, I added a little stargazing area. Not that I do much stargazing, but I thought it was a cute way to use up some more blues. I really love the twinkle painting, so I thought this fitted perfectly here. And of course, we've just dropped down some star fragments. I thought it'd be nice to add the confetti machine in as well from Festivale. So I've kind of hidden it away and you can just see the confetti poking out once in a while. Well, pretty consistently actually. So we just come out of the orchard and then we can either go down or we can go up to my house. I think we'll go up to my house. Here is my garden. We have a lovely kind of chill seating area over here and you can grab a drink, eat a donut 
those sorts of things. <laughs> Maybe read a book if you feel like it. And then because I love flowers, we have a little flower garden as well, tying in the white flowers again. And then this area, I just wanted a cute little seating area incorporating the log stumps. So this was here before I moved my house up here and I didn't have the heart to take it down. <laughs> so it's staying, um, but I really like it. So my house has two seating areas. I'm going to show you my interiors now. We're outside my house, so let's go inside. So this is my entrance room. I went for the white panel walls and kind of dark antique colored wood with some green hints. I love this pattern. So I thought I would try and tie it in. It's on the cushion and on the stool over there. But lots of books, a little sewing area, some reading, a piano. And then we have a seating area in front of the fire over here as well. Again, more donuts or berliners as I should call them. My character should be should be well stocked up for donuts. And then back here we have a guest bedroom. This was kind of a spring themed room. I wanted to really use some yellow. So this is what I came up with. I've got that beautiful bedspread with the floral print, lots of flowers in here. And I really like that check pattern as well that I've used on the cushions. Yeah, I was really happy with this room. Again, this was featured in a speed build that I did if you want to watch it. I'll try and put all the links to the speed builds in my description. If not, there is a playlist for them if you want to go and check them out. And this is the room to my le the left of the main room. And this is my office, right? all of my important work, which is none, <laughs> but it's here in case I ever do have any important meetings or forms to sign. There's some more bookcases, a nice statue because I'm fancy, not really at all, but I liked it in here so <laughs> it can stay. Um, a cosy fireplace and some music. Again, white with quite a lot of wood tones, but I like the way that it feels. It's quite cosy, a bit messy, like me, but that's another story. So this is my bathroom. This was one of my first interior rooms that I did and I haven't been bothered to change it up. It doesn't really match with the rest of the house, but I still kind of like it. Um, I like the whites with the blue and the bathtub. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. I want one in my house in real life. That would be really nice with lots of bubbles. And then we also have a shower for those days when you don't have the time. <laughs> How funny does that look? Uh, I'm wearing this big hat and just getting absolutely drenched in the shower. How funny. Um, yeah, just some random bits on the wall. We've got macrame, um, a painting from Red. I can't remember its name. Um, but yeah, we've just got the blue accents as well. There's a goldfish in pots over there and a floating biome planter as well. Yeah, so cute. So this is my attic room and I made this into my bedroom. So for this room, we've used a lot of the antique furniture, gone with the bed, the console table, the wardrobe, obviously. And I've divided it off using simple panels, the white simple panels with that rattan, not rattan, the shutter pattern on. I've got two of my favorite girls up there on the wall, Callie and Maple. And then over here we have a sort of dressing room set up 
nope, that's the back of the bookcases. <laughs> um, with the vanity, some stuff on the wall. Um, I put the sturdy makeup, uh, the sturdy sewing box there to kind of give the idea that it's kind of like a, a makeup box. And then we have yet more bookcases. <laughs> Um, this is why I'm constantly ordering books from my catalogue because I'm obsessed with having bookcases and some comfy sofas with a coffee on top as well. So my last room to show you guys will be my basement. I'm sure you can guess what's coming next given that we haven't seen one so far. So here we go. So this is my kitchen. Um, we have a lot of the den desks here, which I said in my favourites video, it's definitely one of my favourite items and I think they look great in the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen, it was a baking day, <laughs> there's lots of cakes, more donuts again, dotted around. And then we went with the antique table, just placed in the middle of the room and then I've got a little mini writing area for all those letters and a cozy little sofa in front of the fire with some of my outfits up on the wall little jacket and a hat as well I love these details we've got the ironing board the broom and the dustpan brush this wallpaper if you're wondering it's just a custom design that I've placed on the wall it's absolutely beautiful um, I think it's by Osakana cats underscore cats or something but it'll be in my description if you want to check it out as well so yeah that is my kitchen diner area so that was the interiors of my house done I hope you guys like that and um, we're gonna start moving over to the left of my island and we are approaching Molly's house. Molly has a little bathtub just in her garden. This was suggested to me by Alicia that I add it to Molly's garden, the bathtub. She did suggest using the Bunny Day planter, but I decided to go with the Cosmos shower. But either way, thank you so much for the suggestion. It definitely fits perfectly and I love it. So thank you so much for that. And then Molly's house has Two little ponds outside and then a little land area separating it and then as you can see lots and lots of flowers white and yellows uh, that weed shouldn't be there but by weed and she's got a little kind of reading area a breakfast table with some items on as well as you can see lots of her duck friends are out and about in their puddles enjoying the water and then just opposite from Molly's house, we have a little picnic set up. I realized as I was doing my island, I actually don't have that many picnic areas. So I wanted to include one and I just included some cake. I dropped a piece of fruit as I thought that that was super cute. And then we just got some pillows, another wide brim store hat. I said they were a favorite, they definitely are. And then we have another bridge and then we come into kind of a foresty transitional area. I've used some stunted trees here to make it a bit more interesting. A little mini cedar tree there, the cutest. And here is Eric just chilling out, watering some flowers apparently. And then over this bridge we come to the museum. I've dotted a lot of fossils around here, some animal, uh, some beetle models as well. As you can see, there's some butterflies up on the cliffs, some more fossils. And then back here is Blather's study area, which I still love lots. Um, and I think it's really, really cute. It kind of fits him perfectly. Bit of a mess, bit disorganized some bugs around and we've got some bookcases again some barrels it's nice and cozy but the kind of everything he needs there a chalkboard a typewriter microscope microscope even um yeah so that's his study 
and then just to the left here we have a little seating area which I used the diagonal rug for when these first came out I was dying to use them so this is what I decided to do and it turned out super cute we've got the crepey I can't say it the little snack there from the Sanrio item where the frog is on kind of a lily pad which is super cute So I'm going to try and head down to my resident services as I haven't shown you that yet but before we get there there's a few little things to show you. We have the bakery which is sandwiched in between these two cliffs. Over to the right is part of the sunken waterfall and yeah we have a whole lot, load of stuff going on here. Lots of cake, lots of cushions. Um, punchy you might want to turn around your coffee is facing the other way <laughs> um, yeah I really like this area and it's kind of the rustic look that I was going for as you can see there's like four barrels alone in this area <laughs> obsessed yes <laughs> um, but we have lots of nice looking desserts as well we've got the pompurin pudding there's some mum's handmade cakes and pies and the wedding cake and then down here again another kind of foresty path and we come to a bookshop it's just a little mini one just situated to the left here kind of in between the cliffs quite rustic looking again just tying those browns I love the table lamp that matches the stool design really really cute we have a mini pond down here and we also have the coffee stall perfect on a morning when you want to grab a latte or an espresso before going to work because my villagers are bougie like that and then this is my residence services oh Kix is here today did give you kind of a snapshot as to what was on the cliffs before but as you can see it's just up there where we were after my campsite and then around here we have a little pond a little waterfall which leads to able sisters I'm just going to show you the alternative way to get to nook's cranny so this is my entrance again and you can also go up here there is a little reading area just as you come up the cliff and then we get to our nooks and cranny as you can see I've got a little bit of a flea market kind of vibe going on lots of boxes out here as if to give the idea that there's been a delivery lots of random items and then we have a storage area as well a white mountain bike because you know you can never have too many of them that's my nooks cranny and then if we just go back down here I'll show you maple and fauna's area before we explore the rest so up here is maple and fauna's own little kind of cliff top neighborhood this is maple's house she has a farm with lots of pumpkin some wheat she has a little seating area out here to have her coffee on a morning and then there's kind of like a little garden shed here with some tools and bits like that just gonna keep running in this green leaf pile <laughs> so the leaves go everywhere and then the incline here to the right of maple's house leads up to fauna's house again she's got a little seating area there to enjoy her donuts and read a book and then she's got kind of a dining and outdoor patio and a little garden and she's got a piano there because I feel like she would be a great pianist so down we go see my island kind of snakes off a bit here you can either go to the back or you can go to the left along here and we have a bike rental set up 
in case you want to explore the island on two wheels. And then down here we come to Poppy's house. Poppy has her own little strawberry field or strawberry patch and again she's got a little dining area, somewhere to relax, have a cup of coffee. And then next to Poppy's house is Pearl's house. She's got a little flower farm, again a little seating area. And the main part of her island is, the main part of her yard even, is this beach yoga setup, which I'm still kind of obsessed with. I really like it. I did it a while ago, but definitely, definitely super cute. I'm just going to go back over here and go over this bridge and show you that beach. Otherwise, I will forget. There's our duck who lost his feather. We have a little waterfall as well. This is one of my, the mouths of my rivers. We have a cute little seating area here with some cake, the white mountain bike. I really love that. And then on this beach, we have a little mini camping area. As you can see, I've used the kids tent and then lots of just kind of random items drop down. We've got some champagne because it's a posh beach tent camping area. And then over here we have some beach towels, another little kind of sunbathing area, our lifeguard tower because, you know, safety. Who's got a surfboard as well? Yeah. I'm definitely enjoying de decorating my beaches at the minute. And I don't know why, I used to absolutely detest doing it. But things, something's changed and I don't know what. Um, but yeah. So if we go back over this way, we'll come to my latest build that I did, which is my beach restaurant. Quite a fa fancy restaurant. You definitely have to be wearing a shirt and a tie otherwise you're not allowed in. Uh, we have a piano to play some soothing dinner tunes, as you would. Used quite a lot of the wedding furniture here. We've got the wedding board, the cake, the table, the chairs, etc, etc. But I think they look really nice together. This is my dock, quite a little, quite a small dock, but we used a picnic blanket here just somewhere that you can go relax and read a book, listen to some music, watch the waves go by. And then this is the beach restaurant's kitchen. Quite small, but it does everything it needs to do. It does what it says on the tin. <laughs> and we've got some dinners here waiting to be served to the hungry guests. So if we head back to Pearl's house and we sneak snake up the back here, we come to our flower farm. My island wouldn't be my island without an abundance of flowers. So for my flower farm, I mixed it up between the mums, the mum cushions, and the tulips and the anthurium plants, if that's how you say it. Excuse me if I'm wrong. And then we have a greenhouse as well some little storage area and some more plants. As you can see over to the right, that's Maple's farm up there. But over to the left here, if we go up here, we come to Olive's house. And Olive has a really cute seating area with her dog on a cushion and she has a little flower shop. Quite a rustic looking flower shop. We use the simple panels at the back there to give the idea of shells and things that you would find in a florist, which I really like. And then if we follow back here, we come to the forest area that I will show you. This is, so we went up to the museum. If you go left here, then you'll come to kind of a forest dining area. 
which I really like, using the table with cloth, mixed up the chairs, got a nice ar array going on there with some different food and beverages, all nicely tucked in between the trees. And then we come to Eric's yard. Eric has his own pond, a little mini farm here. And the main part of Eric's house is this really cute workshop area. I really like this idea and he's kind of there to make toys and things like that. So we've got a paint set so he can paint the completed toys. Up on the cliff, there's a little woodwork, woodwork, no wood chopping area that sounds better and he's also got a fishing area a seating area boy i really went to town on his yard he's got so many different details <laughs> and you can snake in between the two cliffs here put a little kind of campfire here just as a little filler a nice little transition area and then we come to my beach on these rocks we went with the painting area got lots of art stuff set up here some canvases some paint sets I really like that and then this is just kind of my crafty corner because down here we have a beach embroidery set up in real life I did give embroidery a go I really need to get back into it because I did enjoy it it's really satisfying and relaxing so if you need a new hobby I would definitely recommend it not sure how well it would work on the beach because I think you would just get sand everywhere but I thought it was a cute place to put it so that's why it's there and then down here this again was another filler wasn't sure what to put on this beach so we've gone with the sun loungers all in a kind of very neutral kind of tone it looks very posh and fancy to me with the champagne and the nice gold candles but <laughs> hey as you can see on my beach I just like random things down there's a ship in a bottle there there's quite a few shells around and stuff like that oh I just thought of what I should show you if I can get there Ooh. oh come on okay I might have to find another way to get around it's great having lots of pretty things on your island but it makes it kind of hard um, and then this is the beach which leads up to Dobby's area Dobby's area um, he's got his own fishing lake as you can see here lots of fishing rods a rocking chair because you know he's an old man and then we have a fish market as well lots of fish models lots of stools and then up on the rocks it kind of continues where we've got a prep area with the cutting board and the drying rack as well and then to the right of Dobby's house we have our secret beach that weed looks awful let's change that okay that's better and this area I kind of went with quite a piratey theme I'm not sure um, but I quite like it there's lots of barrels some gold treasure uh, some more gold treasure over here a cannon because you know I don't know yeah that's piratey so yeah we went with that I'm just gonna try and show you the terraforming of these cliffs over here because there's some nice waterfalls I like to, I don't know why I do this but I create areas and I hide them away because I'm a bit silly like that I don't know if you can quite see it from there no oh dear let's try oh it lets me now how weird so these are some cliffs that I made some some waterfalls just because you can never have too many waterfalls that tree does kind of get in the way 
as you can see they're all kind of quite natural looking up on the cliff there we've got some more trees and a mushroom parasol yeah so guys that's the end of the tour I'm so glad to have done this and I hope you guys really like it it's been a lot of hard work but we got there in the end and if you ever doubt that you can't finish up your island just keep going with it move on to something else you will get there um I promise you I'm so excited to start work on my new island I'm not going to tell you what theme it is yet because I want it to be a bit of a surprise and I'm really nervous about doing it because it's quite different um, but I want to set myself a challenge so we'll see how it goes if you want to see any of the speed builds as I said before they're in a playlist on my channel I'll also put some in the description if I remember and as always my codes will be in the description as well the dream address I'll pop that in as well for you but Again, a massive thank you to all those who have been watching the videos for all the lovely words you have to say. It really means a lot to me. If you're not already, please could you subscribe and remember to like the video if you enjoyed the tour. Until next time guys, goodbye!